All right, everybody. Hey, Merry Christmas. Uh, Pastor Pat Rankin coming to you uh, on a great Christmas Eve afternoon. Uh, obviously, you've seen Pastor Aaron there. and I asked him to pony my mare for a second while I did a video. You guys were wanting to see a couple more videos, so I thank you for watching. And uh, we are, I'm going to call this one the gang's all here. We got Bella with it. Come here, Bella. We got Bell with us. We got Duke with us. Uh, we got Cinderella with us. We got Cash with us. Um, and we got Snow with us. So I'm kind of bouncing around, but we're just trying to get some riding in. Uh, so talking real quick to you guys about um, staying healthy and... Uh, keeping a sound mind we can do that through getting outdoors and reading our bibles and praying and being with uh, other people other like-minded christians whether it's a uh, somebody like pastor aaron or just somebody you study with or maybe it's just you getting out taking your dog on a walk how about that that's uh and let's be honest you can only eat so much dang sweets during the holidays. You got to get out and burn it off. Uh, so, I want to challenge you guys to uh, just take a look around outside where you're at and find out what you and your family uh, could do today. Man, it's nice. I don't know where you're watching from, uh, but we're in St. Louis. And, uh, well, actually, I'm not in St. Louis now, I'm on a farm. But thought I'd send this to you just because I think a lot of times when we're uh, looking to do something we always want the, the biggest and the best and uh, that may not necessarily be the be the key you may just be able to get outside for a couple hours today like today we were gonna rope out here in the arena and we'll go back here and see if it is if it's what the weather's like but I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that so if we can't do that we'll we'll do something else we'll ride around and we'll um we'll do something we'll create something we'll ride around and do whatever but we just we'll just get out and have some fun and i just wanted to take you guys along so i hope you guys enjoy uh, being with us it's a, it's a great day and there was just uh, absolutely no way i could sit at home and and not be outside so um, let me tell you this though, you're going to have to, in order to uh, do these kind of things, you'll have to get out of your comfort zone. You know, you'll have to get, you know, like normally, most people, after they get done with their holiday dinner, like we had this morning, they want to go to bed or they want to take a break. And that's okay. I think people should do that. But there's a lot of times when, you know, you need to break the tradition and say, hey, you know what, after we get done eating today, we're going to go take a walk we're going to go outside play tag play soccer go to a park even if it's snowing or go sleigh riding um so anyways i just thought i'd share that with you you know and and you have to uh like for us to come out here aaron's got to drive about 35 minutes i got to drive about an hour or so but man i'll tell you what that hour gives me one more time opportunity to drink another cup of coffee and get here and not everything's perfect but man i'll tell you what's a it's a good day and it's a good day just to just to be out so man uh, quit looking for the perfect day and the perfect excuse just use whatever god's given you on that day and uh i'm just kind of glad you're riding around with us today so we ain't really doing anything special uh matter of fact uh we're just we just jumped on and went hey, we didn't really brush the horses down too much you know That's kind of what we're doing. So we're here in a rope pen, and obviously, I'll turn the camera, and you can see the rope pen is going to be way too muddy to rope in. But we're still down here, just able to show you some cool stuff. And wanted to get out here with the dogs and the horses, and I was actually even planning on riding snow today. And uh, you know that that don't always happen. You know, sometimes you. You don't get to do everything you want to do, so you just saddle up the good one you got and drag the young one along and just be what it is, you know. 
And maybe after I get done recording and everything, I brush her down a little, I can ride her. But I don't know. No big deal. She'll probably walk down here by the woods and probably end up scaring up a deer. You might see a deer here jump in a minute. Uh, round pen. So let's see. The dogs will surely kick up something here in a minute. See, watch these guys get down there in the woods. You see them? They'll lock on something. Yeah, so I, I didn't even tell you. I didn't introduce you to Duke and Bella. These are blackmouth curs, so these are hunting dogs, and they will jump up something here quickly. So uh, you might see everybody kind of fly up here in a minute, but that's kind of the cool thing about being on horseback and being with dogs. See that? You know, we're riding right behind Pastor Aaron. Pastor Aaron, you want to say anything? Merry Christmas everybody, to anybody? Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are enjoying this. And Hope to see you tonight at uh, Christmas Eve service. Oh, Whatever yeah. Point. Yeah, don't forget about Christmas Eve service. So what exactly are we doing right now? Are we doing anything special? Have you? We're just going. We're just, we're go just we don't, going. We don't even have any idea what we're doing or where we're going or why we're doing it. And that's sometimes the best, right. best thing. And you don't always have, you just don't. You just go and you just do. And it is what it is. And yeah, I'm just, I don't know. Uh. I just, like I said, we're titled The Gang's All Here. But while we're riding along, I'll just pray for you. How about that? So, Lord, we just want to pray for all my friends that are there, those that are out playing soccer, and those maybe just sitting in a rocking chair today, or those who are just having fun, still celebrating or getting ready to celebrate for tomorrow. I want to thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross for our sins, coming in the form of a baby uh, so he could live among us. So, uh, guys... Um, here we are, <laughs> just kind of on a Christmas day, just don't really have anything in mind, so you're, you're right along here with us, you're liable to see just about anything, so, uh, we'll get Duke and, uh, Duke and Bell, and, uh, they're going to scare up something, I can, I can promise you you're going to see something, something get western here in a minute, and I'll try to, I'll try to record it if I can. So, sorry about that. I was, I was looking and I wasn't. So, I hope you guys enjoy. So, if you like these videos where we don't have absolutely anything planned except riding through the woods and jumping over logs and watching Pastor Aaron drag a mare behind it, it's kind of, it's kind of fun. But, uh, uh, anyways, I guess this is as good as a place as any to sign off. So, I uh, just want to tell you that we love you guys and, uh, Hope we meet you. Hey, check out our live stream service at hbwt.org uh, tonight. Uh, that'll start at midnight, and uh, and uh, we're glad that you came along with us today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if any of it made sense, but we just want you to know Jesus loves you, and I love you. You guys Merry have Christmas. a great day, great, great, great day in the Lord.